All right, you guys. So looks like we're getting our delivery from DHE, Dependable Highway Express. Highly recommend this company. Look how clean their trailer is. Of our large go-kart, the Venture 200 EFI. Let's check these puppies out. All right, he's maneuvering them out. Right now they're wrapped up there, double stacked there on the pallets. This will give you guys an idea of what the size of these crates are. Again, these are double stacked. There's two Venture 200s, one on top of each other. As you guys can see, there's a lot involved. You gotta set an appointment with the uh, shipper. You gotta drop these off. Of course, we're a commercial, we're a business, so there's uh, no appointment necessary. They just bring it on based on our open hours. But if you guys are at a resident receiving these or you know, business be a little bit friendlier, then this is what you guys can expect. You can see the size of these crates right here. All the packaging, everything's involved in this whole whole ordeal. So if there's a local dealer near you, you can purchase one of these. You pay just a little bit more. It's all said and done for you. All said and done. Tested and tuned. Okay, so we start dismantling the cage on the Venture 200 go-kart. Quite a bit of nuts and bolts that secure that in. All right, you guys. So, uh... They double stack this here. So we don't have a forklift over here. So we're gonna use our lift to bring it down. So Adam and I are going to move the frame. Now Adam, uh, again, he removed the cage. It's still on the base. And what else did you do, Adam? You just emptied. I took out all the extra little stuff that wasn't bolted in. Okay, as you guys can see, there's a lot of stuff there that's uh, not bolted in here. These are all the uh, spindles, control arms, it looks like uh, a lot of parts over here. So a lot of ingredients here on this Venture 200, you guys. And so Adam and I right now are gonna lift it off there and then get the process going. Right, you guys, so we are progressing. Adam installed the rear wheels. And where are you at right now? So we're uh, installing the A-arms. You wanna make sure that you either have somebody to help you or you put some tape around the copper pieces here that spin around because they will fall off on you numerous times. Either grease or tape would help you out. Okay, so now we're gonna do the spindle. Got the control, lower control arm and the spindle now. And it goes as such. Okay, and you're gonna connect this right here onto this, correct? Right. All right, you guys. So, I'll tell right, you guys. So breaking this down, you guys, you guys can see how, much, how many different parts it comes with that we took out of this, you guys. And uh, we got the gas tank up there, some shocks as well. So this is what you guys can expect. It's a lot of work and instructions are not included. Uh, what did you say, Adam, about uh, them labeling something? Yeah, they have like washers. They have uh, like individual things that say like nuts and stuff like that. Okay, all right. So I, I've had a customer that got back to me, never done this before, but a bit mechanically savvy. He told me it took him four hours from crate to the finished product, you know, tested and tuned, ready to go, nuts and bolts. So that's a lot of time, you guys. If you have a local dealer, pay that little extra price, have it ready to go, turn key, drive out of there and start enjoying it. I mean, this is, uh, you get a little less online, but you know, it's, I don't know if there's truly any value unless you're a tinkerer, and you love to, to do uh, stuff like this. So as you can see, Breaking this down, I mean, how much it comes apart. I mean, how much you have to assemble on it as well. So, all right, you guys, this is our progress so far. It was on the lift over here. We moved it off, got the wheels on. Adam, throw out some tips here. So basically what you want to do is make sure you take your time, don't rush. You want to make sure the uh, short pender brackets go in the front, the longer ones go in the rear. Make sure you have help while you're doing this. Just in case you make a mistake, you can also go through some YouTube videos of what the machine looks like. If there's any assembly videos on these, go through. Okay. And then just make sure everything's all nice and tight once you get it all good to go for yourself. All right, so we got the wheels on, we got the fender brackets on. Fenders should be installed at the last, very last, correct? Right. So you don't bump into them, potentially break anything. What else, how about the battery as well? You should install that before you install the back rest back, of the seat. Yeah. So the backrest goes right here, where these two little bars are. Okay. So, so far, how has the fit and finish been? A little difficult, but once you get through all of it, it just goes together easy. Okay, you guys, so there you have it right now. 
the shocks were installed, the wheels, the uh, fender brackets here in the front and the rear, the spindle, the shocks, as you can see here, Adam took care of that as well. The tie rods were buttoned in here. So we're progressing, we're putting on the top rack, the cage right now, and uh, we should have it uh, coming up there really soon. Okay, until the next uh, step. All right, you guys, this is our last clip. Welcome back with the Venture 200 unboxing, giving you a glimpse of the assembly process. Right, we got six foot four, 240 pound Adam sitting inside. You guys, go ahead, Adam. Nice go-kart to cruise around. Give you guys a bit of a glimpse of what was involved. And now a little short test drive. This is the color blue. We also have black. You've seen our prior video in red. Very quiet, four stroke, air cooled, electronic fuel injection. So uh, turn on those blinkers there so we can show our, our audience there what they look like. All right, there you guys go. Blinker wise, lights there. Nice LEDs. We're gonna take a 180 there, walk around as well. Nice looking buggy, you guys, very affordable. Check us out, Scooter ATV Sales under the go-kart category, and we'll see you guys soon. Take care. See you, Adam.